Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. Holy crap you guys, today has been an exciting day. I got so much nail mail in, I am, uh, I can't believe I'm this calm. <laughs> today we are going to take a look at the brand new buttercream collection called Make Me a Missus from Light Elegance. I've had this in my hot little hands for about six hours and I did this. No, I can't do it. <laughs> so I put the lid back on, I put it back in the box and I hid it till I could get home. <laughs> I wanted it to be a first impression with you guys. So I have not seen these colors yet. So I am going to be seeing these colors for the first time. I'm super excited about that. So let's get started. Hey, here's the new buttercreams from Light Elegance, Make Me a Missus, and such beautiful packaging, as always. And I know I've done this with my previous collections as well. So we have, hello, welcome to the butter box, and six brand new colors, and then the instructions on the inside. Okay, so the first color we're gonna look at is called With This Ring. I'm just gonna say this right off the bat. I'm really struggling reading the writing on the labels. I kind of wish the color of the writing would be a little bit more predominant, like either a white or a, a black. I mean, I know they're trying to do that soft bridal look, but makes it difficult to read what's on here. Okay, and this is what with this ring looks like. Kind of like a clear, fine sparkle. So it's kind of got some, like a pearl white glitter. Very, 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 very fine. Maybe a little bit of silver. It's kind of got like a blue-gray hue to it. So I think this is going to be super sheer, which is gorgeous for wedding nails. Okay, so that's one coat. Yeah, super sheer. You could put this over any color you want and it would just give the color another dimension. Oh, that would be pretty over a baby boomer nail. <gasps> oh my gosh, I think I'm going to do that. Oh, this would be stunning. So you guys, if you were to do a baby boomer and you notice some imperfections in your baby boomer nail, you could put this, I don't I can't even call it a color, but we will. Well, you can put this color over top and it just sort of blends everything together. Oh, I really like that. Okay, and this is, with this ring, super sheer. Like I said, it's kind of got a blue-gray hue to it. I don't know, this is a very unique color. This is really, really pretty. I really like this. Despite I can't read what the lid says, <laughs> I really like this color. Let's take a look at Under the Veil. And this is what Under the Veil looks like. This is a gorgeous, soft, peachy pink, almost kind of like a blush color with a bit of shimmer in it. That is gorgeous. This is just like cream, creamy cream. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Couldn't decide if I wanted to say gorgeous or beautiful. <laughs> I love this color. Oh my gosh, perfect for wedding nails. So I am gonna put a second thin layer on this because I do see a little bit of shadowing in here. I know it is more of a sheer look. I don't know, for me personally, if I was to get married again, <laughs> I would want something soft on my nails, something sheer. So I get the, the reasoning of why these colors are a little bit more on the sheer side than opaque. This is beautiful. I love this color. Love it. I want to wear it. <laughs> and I don't have to get married to wear it. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the next color. Let's look at, can you read that? At the altar. I think that's what it's called. And this is what at the altar looks like. Oh my gosh, this is 
super pretty. This is like a taupe. So it's definitely got a gray base. It is a nude color and I'm just gonna swatch it right away. This just is goes on like, this one actually goes on more like a, a cream consistency than a buttery consistency, but super smooth. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, so don't get me wrong. I'm just trying to describe how it applies to the swatch stick. This definitely has a gray base to it. I love this color. I've been so into these soft neutrals nude colors this spring. Oh, that is stunning. Okay, and that's what at the altar looks like. Yeah, you could so wear this into fall, you guys. Beautiful coat with a gray base to it. I love this color. Okay, let's take a look at, I think this one's called I Do, and this is what I Do looks like. This is a beautiful soft pink, and it's got a shimmer in this. This is like satin, like silk. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. Now, this has got more of a, I think, I would say this is more of a warm toned pink than a cool pink. Okay, and this is what I do looks like. You might be able to get away with one coat on a real nail because it is a little bit more opaque. It went on so smooth like these buttercreams do. If you know how buttercreams apply, you're not gonna be disappointed with this collection. Oh my gosh, another gorgeous color I would wear. Oh, that is so pretty. Next one we're gonna look at is called Lady in Lace. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. No, I'm not laughing. Well, I am laughing for no reason, but I thought this said lady large. <laughs> it's probably not something you want to say to a bride. Lady in lace. Oh my gosh. Either I need my eyes checked or maybe a little bit bigger print and maybe something not so holographic. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is stunning. Lady in Lace. This is definitely a cooler pink. It's got a white base. It looks like there's pearl feel to it and some shimmer. Ooh, I gotta, I gotta stir this. This one almost feels a little bit thicker. So I'm wondering if it applies super easy. I bet it does. This kind of reminds me of a pink marshmallow. <laughs> Okay, and this is what Lady in Lace looks like. This beautiful light pink. It's, it's got a blue base to it, so it's a cooler tone. And this is the type of color with that pearl look in here, or that pearl finish, where you could make swirls in your application or have a nice, straight, seamless application. I think you guys know what I'm talking about, right? That is so pretty. Okay, last color is called Something Borrowed. I need to borrow stronger glasses to read. <laughs> and this is what Something Borrowed looks like. So this is a beautiful pink. It looks like it's got a kind of a blue-gray base. It's more on the cool toned side. And it is a cream. There's no sparkle. There's no shimmer. There's no metallic. There's no pearl, nothing. It is a beautiful, silky, cream color. Okay, one coat, you guys, and I think you'll be happy. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, and this is what something borrowed looks like. This is kind of a muted pink. This is a very soft pink. It's very opaque. One thin layer, I think, is all it's going to take to get a full coverage, but it definitely has that blue-gray undertone to it.
Okay, you guys, there are the six brand new buttercreams from Light Elegance called Make Me a Mrs. We used With This Ring, At the Altar, Lady in Lace, and Something Borrowed. You can see, even with using those four different colors, a hand looks super nice with a wedding dress. Yes, that's my wedding dress. I dug it out just for this video. <laughs> So, what are my honest thoughts on this collection? I'm absolutely in love with the colors, every single one of them. I love that they are softer colors, sophisticated colors. I love that they are in the pink and peachy nude spectrum. I, I actually have nothing bad to say about this collection except for the labels on top of the lid. It would be nice to be able to read them with a little bit more ease, but that's probably partly my fault. <laughs> As for a favorite in this collection, you know what? I cannot pick one over the other. I really, really can't. I'm loving each and every one of them. I think you can create something really special with each and every color. You can combine a bunch of colors like I did on this hand, or a nice, just one soft color all throughout. I mean, sky's the limit with this collection. I think Light Elegance did a fantastic job with these colors, with how they apply, with uh, the viscosity of them. Now, the consistency in these jars are not all the same but how you apply them is still just as easy so I wouldn't worry about that if that was a concern for you guys so I'm curious I would love to know what you guys think comment down below if you don't have this collection do you think you're gonna pick it up for the wedding season summer season that's coming up or pretty much upon us right now I would love to know your guys thoughts so that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!